everyone, it's Elise and welcome to my channel, Elise Between the Ears. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you and welcome. And if you are a return visitor, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about Disney and Disney things and life in general and finding that magic in our everyday life. So I hope you'll stick around and I hope you'll subscribe. So today, in the spirit of finding magic in your everyday life, I was thinking the other day about things around me that remind me of Disney and more specifically the Disney parks. And so as I was thinking about it, I realized that each of them had to do with different senses. So to start off, um, the easiest one for me uh, was the sense of sound. Now, when I'm like either at work or um, just out and about, some people might have um, a particular, some people might have a particular sound when they get a text um, or a voice message or something on their phone. And you might have heard this yourself, I'm trying to like pull it up here. Hang on one second. Okay, so the sound that you might hear is this. How that reminds me of the Disney parks is I remember going, oh, I don't remember how long ago, and I'm not sure if, they st if it still does that, uh, but as you go through the turnstile at Disneyland, you'll hear this every time somebody like puts in their ticket, you hear. And so every time I'm just working or um, I'm in the grocery store or something and somebody has a text come through or a voicemail and I hear that, um, I think, oh, it's the turnstiles from Disney Disneyland. So that's my favorite um, sense of sound that brings me right back to the parks. Okay, so the second thing is um, the sense of sight. And I thought about what is it that um, makes me think of Disney? Sure, there's the fireworks and um, seeing pictures and whatnot, but um, there is this uh, little spot right by my office that uh, it's called the boardwalk and there was, I actually did a video, it was like I think my second or third video um, that I posted where I went down and they were having like a, um, kind of like a taste sample thing, kind of like um, the festivals they have at Epcot, but many, 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 many. Uh, anyway, I will post it up here. So uh, if you wanna watch that. But anyway, I um, was looking at it one day when I was leaving work and it was getting dusk and they had the lights up and people were all gathering and they had the fire going and it just kind of made me, especially with the lights, made me think of that uh, section uh, between Main Street USA in Disneyland and uh, New Orleans Square. There's like a row of restaurants and they're all sitting outside and inside and there's lights and that's exactly how this is. They have um, different uh, lights or different restaurants where um, they sit outside, they talk, you know. They have lights uh, strung all the way down the boardwalk. It's just really kind of fun and kind of uh, oh, reminiscent of like old, um, beachfront or piers or something like that. And it just, I don't know why, but it just makes me think of uh, that section at Disneyland. So the third thing on my list was the sense of taste. And I was trying to think of what was it that um, really brought uh, Disney to mind with taste. And it's kind of broad, but um, when I think of breakfast, going out to breakfast in the morning, um, usually Saturday mornings, uh, we'll get up and we'll go to either IHOP or 
Cracker Barrel or a favorite um, breakfast cafe. That always makes me think of being on vacation. And of course, um, if we have like waffles, that reminds me of Mickey waffles. So, but when you're on vacation, for some reason, well, when we're on vacation anyway, some people are not like this, but when we're on vacation, we always want to have breakfast. And so when we go to Disney, that's one of the main things that we enjoy doing is having breakfast before we head out to the parks. So we have energy and um, we don't need to like rush and get like pastries or anything. We try and have a nice breakfast before we go into the parks or we'll make reservations to have breakfast like with, when we were at Disney World and we went to Ohana for breakfast. So the next thing is the sense of smell. And I'm like, okay, so what is it that smells like a Disney park? Or what is it that reminds me of the Disney park? Well, this is kind of broad as well. Then they get kind of broader, but um, I love the smell of a fresh spring morning. When you wake up and you go out and it's just a little bit uh, cool, maybe the lawns have been mowed the day before and so you smell have that uh, smell of fresh cut grass maybe it's rained and it's all fresh and there's just this smell of freshness and springtime and it always reminds me of when we were living in california and we'd get up really early on saturday or on friday to um, go up to the Disney parks and we would get up early so we'd get there as soon as we can and there was always that uh, freshness in the air which was always like exciting to me that um, it made me just and just filled me with uh, or just rejuvenated me um, and brought all that excitement so every time I smell that it reminds me of those great uh, summer days or spring days in California. The last one I have is the sense of touch and this was I think the hardest one for me to think of um, but and it's not really a touch touch but it's more of like a feeling and that is uh, my feet. I know it's kind of weird but because you walk around the park so much, um, I don't know about you, but by the end of the day, my feet are killing me. So when um, I walked around all day, like in the stores, or when I've gone on walks with my friends, uh, and my feet start to hurt, that kind of reminds me of being at the Disney parks. So it's, a it's touching the ground, so it is kind of a touch. So there you have it, my, uh, the five senses of what brings Disney to my mind. Uh, the sense of smell, the sense of sight, the sense of sound, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps and I hope you will subscribe. And also comment below. I would love to hear what senses um, remind you of Disney and being at a Disney park and what um, other things remind you and like bring you right back into the parks. So anyway, until next time, um, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a great day and a great week. And I will see you next time. Bye.